we're going to be talking about today is the Yale Ring Positioning Lanyard Kit. Um, this one was uh, beautifully packaged by Gap Arborist Supply. Um, so I'm going to kind of open it up and talk through some parts of it. The ring rope itself has been out for, uh, I think, a couple of years now, uh, but it's, it's not overly well known. So uh, I think more arborists are probably pretty well versed with tri like TriTech made by Sterling. Um, this is 11.5 millimeter. I think it's a 32 strand cover. It's a little bit more stiff in nature, right? So this particular configuration has an ISC double locking snap on it. A uh, beeline black uh, hitch cord made by Yale. Uh, looks like a CT carabiner and a CMI micro pulley underneath. So it's called RING. Uh, it's an acronym, R-I-N-G. Red is no go. So the core of this lanyard has a, a red dye to it so that if you were to nick the lanyard and you see red, that's a very quick and easy inspection protocol so you know that when it's severed, it's time to take it out of service, or in this case, say I cut it next to the snap, I'd probably just cut that off and then tie a termination knot around the snap so I can keep using it. So it's a really neat piece of kit. So I actually have mine set up on my harness, so I'm gonna talk a little bit more in terms of how I use my uh, ring lanyard. Uh, but this one's 12 feet, so it gives you plenty of workable cordage to actually do uh, a fair amount in terms of uh, what we go out and do every day. Pruning, removal, I mean 12 feet, that's a pretty fat trunk, able to whip the lanyard around and use it as a nice uh, positioning tool. Uh, and again, because it's more, it's on the stiffer side of the cordage, it's kind of a good middle ground between your standard rope lanyards and the wire core flip lanyards, right? Like any of us that have done removals for any amount of time like to use those wire core flip lines because they're really easy to flip up the trunk, right? But trying to prune trees with them, they're not exactly my favorite tool. Um, whereas if I'm doing a removal with just a soft lanyard, standard rope lanyard, it doesn't want to flip up the trunk nearly as easily. This is a good kind of hybrid type cordage. It stays stiff enough so as you are working your way, we'll get on the truss here. Or just how about a tree? How about we use the tree? Right, so as you're as you're flipping your way up, it tends to stay a little bit more stiff, a little bit more kind of together, so that way you get that nice flipping motion as you're, as you're working your way up this far. Um, very, very handy thing. It's actually neat to see how Yale has taken this red is no go concept and incorporated it into other ropes, such as Kern Master with the Bifrost and the Phantom. Uh, it's just, even as a color deficient person, it's very easy for me to see when I see red. Uh, it, it's just a helpful thing to know that, okay, well, I just make my rope. That's not good. Uh, let me go ahead and get this out of service. So to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what the price per foot is, um, but it really is like, this is what I climb on day in, day out um, since getting this, this cordage. They make it in two different diameters, 10 millimeter and 11.5 millimeter. For myself personally, I prefer the 11.5 millimeter, mainly because you get that extra flippage. Um, it's also more compliant with ANSI standards, being that it's gotta be at least 11 millimeter in terms of cordage. So 11.5 works great in all sorts of different devices. Like this is hitch based. On my system, it's, it's hitch based, but you can incorporate mechanical adjusters such as the ART positioner. Um, works beautifully with this rope. It's nice and stiff, so it it allows that camming unit uh, to, to operate well, but it also, with the mechanical positioners, they tend to be a little bit more compact in nature. So it's a beautiful pairing between the two. Um, but yeah, I can't speak enough about how easy it is to flip this up as a good hybrid. It's abrasion resistant, right? Here, abrasion resistant, don't hear cut resistant. Like it will still get cut by sharp stuff. It's still a soft thing, can still get cut by a sharp thing. Uh, so still try to keep that stuff away from this, but it is abrasion resistant. So what that means is as you're, as we're working with it, it tends to last a little bit longer, right? We're hard on our ropes, hard in the trees, uh, but because it is abrasion resistant, it tends to hold up a little bit longer. So for example, this is my personal ring lanyard. So I'm gonna put the, right? I guess we can show side by side. 
Um, this is brand new. This is from about six months of day-to-day -day use. Um, so uh, not quite as pretty, right? Not quite as pretty as the brand new stuff, but it actually wears quite well and holds together uh, wonderfully. So I'm a big fan of the, the ring rope, especially like with newer climbers. I try to kind of direct them in that route because new climbers tend to cut cordage a fair bit more than experienced climbers. So having that easy wear indicator, when you see that red, it's a, it's a very quick and easy conversation to have with that person of like, okay, boom, time to take this out of service. So Yale Ring Rope, um, come talk to us over there in the booth. Happy to chat a little bit more about it, but thank you so much for your time and have a great expo. Woo